The topic of this video is unit analysis. Unit analysis is a way to convert one unit into another. The units must change into the same type of unit. For example, a mass must change into a mass, or like a length must change into a length. Changing a mass into a length or whatever is something different. <clears throat> so how do we do it? Well, basically all you're doing is multiplying by one you're not multiplying by a normal one you're multiplying by a relation and I'll explain we know that 60 seconds equal one minute if this is true that means 60 over one minute 60 seconds over one minute equals one same as one minute over 60 seconds equal one. Okay, We're going to use this type of relation uh, to do unit analysis. Okay, uh, Let's do an example. That will be the easiest. Okay, Let's say you have 14 minutes and you want seconds. So you're changing it from minutes to seconds. What is 14 minutes in seconds? Okay. So what you want to do is you want to multiply by that special relation, that one. So you want to get rid of minutes. So you want minutes on the bottom. So you want one minute on the bottom. And you want seconds. So you want 60 seconds on the top. And you see uh, this, minute, this minute unit here and this minute unit there. Here, these two minute units cancel. And you're left with 14 times 60 seconds, which equal. 840 seconds. Okay, let's try another one. You have a uh, three grams and you want kilograms. You have three grams and you want kilograms. So what you would do is you want you want any kilograms. So you want one kilogram on top. How many grams are in a kilogram? A thousand. You see what you want to get rid of? You put on the bottom. What you want? You put on the top. These two units here cancel, the grams cancel, and you're left with three times one over a thousand kilo kilograms, which equal, I believe, three zero point zero zero three. In scientific notation, this is three times ten to the negative three kilograms. Let's try one a little bit more difficult. Let's say you have 50 kilometers and you want to change it into yards. So now you're going to have to switch a little bit. Okay. So I know that there are 0 0.621 miles in one kilometer. Okay, I know there are 5,280 feet in one mile and one yard has three feet. Okay, remember what you want to change it into, you put on the top, what you want to get rid of, you put on the bottom. See here, the kilometers cancel out, the miles cancel out, and the feet cancel out. So basically it's 50 times a uh, 0.621 uh, times 5,280 times one third yards, because it everything cancels out. And the answer here is five no fifty-four thousand six hundred. 48 yards or in scientific notation 5.46 times 10 to the 4 yards okay. all right let's do one more one more is it's a little bit tricky okay let's say you have 22 solar masses this is just a type of mass Okay, the mass, um, one mass of the sun. Okay. 
and you want to change it into mercury masses. So what you do is, I know that there are 1.989 times 10 to the 33 grams in one solar mass. And I know within one mercury or mercurian mass, there are 3.30 times 10 20 24 grams. Okay, now you see how everything cancels out? This solar mass cancels out with this solar mass. This gram cancels out with this gram. And we're left with just the mercury masses. And the answer is 132 uh, 32 million. 600,000 mercury masses. But in scientific notation, it's 1.33 times 10 to the 8 mercury masses. Okay, this little symbol just means mercury, and that symbol, that circle with the dot, is just solar, the sun, the symbols using uh, astrophysics and astronomy. <clears throat> so, this is basically how you do, this is basically how you use. Uh, unit analysis to change one unit to another. Um, it's very useful. You should know how to do this if you're getting into the science fields, especially chemistry and physics. You really need to know it. Thanks.